All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and start doing some stuff to the engine um, in here in the shed. So, yeah, follow along. Alright guys, I'm going to call it a night now. Um, I've just been pulling stuff off of the 3-4, getting it ready for the to go into my truck. So, so yeah, I have pulled off heat shields off of the manifolds, and then I started soaking all those bolts in PB Blaster. Pulled the engine mounts completely off, pulled the AC compressor and AC bracket off. Um, let's see what else did I do. Got all the belts off, got the power steering pump off, got the the fan clutch and the pulleys that were right there off because I'm going to do the timing belt so I got to get all this stuff off too and I'm just deep cleaning this whole thing so I'm getting everything off um got the alternator bracket off got the motor mounts off on this side got the oil filter off heat shield off of the manifold over here too got some miscellaneous brackets off and yeah I'm going to call it a night tonight I'm going to keep disassembling and I'm gonna bu go buy some degreaser and stuff like that so I can deep clean this thing um, this pile of parts right here I'm gonna bring to my work to use the parts washer on them and the sandblaster In this portion of the time lapse, it was another evening after work for both Brady and I, and we spent this night just deep cleaning the engine block itself and taking off more miscellaneous hoses and stuff. But we cleaned up all the parts of the engine that we could see that we aren't breaking it down further to because they're already exposed. And I kind of wanted to clean off a lot of the surface grease and stuff before we start just taking it apart so a lot of that stuff doesn't fall into the engine upon disassembly. these videos that we're uploading about the swap progress I'm uploading them in the order of which things were actively happening so if it seems like I'm jumping around this is the kind of jumping around Brady and I were doing and why it jumps from us doing engine work to now we're working on my 3.0 and pulling my 3.0 out of my truck is because it went from weekdays after work to having a couple of hours to this is uh, finally our weekend so we can devote more time and almost an entire day to the process so that's what we're doing here it took a couple of days to fully pull 
the three O out as well. And actually, I believe this was Friday after work, but still we were able to like both be there and stay later. But the other videos of us pulling the three O that you will see throughout this segment are we the weekend and I'm glad that we made that progress. So now I just can focus on cleaning the three O's engine bay once I'm done doing more three four stuff. So yeah. Hope you guys are enjoying following along in the process. It's a lot of work, but I'm really enjoying all of it. All right, we are back again. This weekend, we're getting the 3-0 out so we already did some stuff during the week Brady took everything out on this side and loosened up the exhaust manifold or the headers actually and I'm working on this side there's a lot of extra wiring in this truck so I'm just getting all of that out of the way too and we're gonna get this 3-0 out of here We made amazing progress today. We got this 3-0 out of my truck. I already took the pieces off of it that I needed. I took the AC compressor, which I only need the top plate off of, but I just took the whole thing. The transmission reinforcement brackets, the motor mounts. I'm not taking the oil pan, but that is an option with this swap. Take it off of this for your swap, but I'm just putting in that different one. Um, yeah. Here's the truck all torn down. Um, I'm going to deep clean this entire engine bay and new hoses and then install some stuff like uh, the battery relocation tray the, and the evap canister relocation tray with the evap canister in it. And then I'm actually going to put a new wiper pump in or wiper motor in because mine is really slow and old um, and other miscellaneous stuff like that, guys. Thanks for following along. We're making progress. All right, we're back. Um, gonna do some more teardown on the three four. Woo woo.
guys just saw me take the manifolds off of it. Next is the whole top end bits. Well, I'm not taking the heads off, but the valve covers off, the intake manifold off and all that stuff. Taking all that down so I can replace gaskets and everything. And then after I'm done with all the top end stuff, we're gonna do the flip and do the oil pan and all that stuff. we are back to the three four doing some more work yesterday or last night after work I got all of the intake manifolds off there are two of them and there's the bottom most one um, I am now going to clean up this entire area I'm also going to pull the injectors out of that so I can completely rebuild the injectors I got all new filters and o-rings and yeah so today's plan, hopefully I could do both those things, but at minimum, we are gonna clean the engine. Woo woo. some progress tonight sorry I look like a hot mess it's the nature of the beast I guess there's the wiring harness I fully took that off the engine um, I got the head or sorry the valve cover off on the passenger or driver side of the engine god sorry I'm all over the place working on getting the other side off but this is the side that has the ignition coils and the ignition coils have boots to go to the spark plugs. And I cannot get this out. So that's what I'm struggling with right now. And I need to get this out in order to get the valve cover off. Um, but yeah, that's what we're working on right now. Going to get these valve covers off. Replace, um, replace the gaskets in them. And then finish the intake manifold gaskets. But before I do the gaskets and put everything back together. I am going to uh, sandblast the valve cover gaskets and the intake manifolds. And clean them and then paint them. So... Thanks for watching. All right, that wraps up segment three of our swap progress. Um, here I am at work using the sandblaster cleaning the exhaust manifolds off. Um, next video will just be more three, four tear down and rebuild stuff and hopefully some engine bay cleaning on the truck that everything is going into and hopefully before we know it the whole swap will be done but um, obviously as I've torn this engine apart I shouldn't say obviously, I guess it's not obvious yet, but you guys will see 
Um, as the further I've gotten into this swap, the more I've seen that this engine needs more stuff than I initially bought. So I've had to buy more stuff and it's just added more work. So it's extended the timeline out, which all that just to say that it is going to take longer than initially planned, but I am still just as excited and just as eager. And I hope you guys are enjoying following along in the process. And thank you so much for supporting our page and watching. And I please like and subscribe.